I know. I see him. Um, I, I mean, are you going to fight again? Or are you going to say you retiring after every fight, man? Oh, <laughs> you know, we, we 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 want you to keep fighting, bro. I don't know. I do wanna... you guys do you guys still want to like see a four million dollar put you, a four million dollar man put you guys to sleep? Or what? Oh, you know you're talking about, right? Of course, I'm talking about Shakur. Four bill. Four million. Ooh, well, we we didn't get into Shakur. Oh, yeah, I want to um, see like entertainment. And then pay the man for that entertainment. Well, you know, I, I got that. I, I, I give it all different kind of traits of skills. I mean, even Andre Ward, someone that's like an analyst, like a perfectionist in boxing, like his IQ is high. He was even the commentator. Like he was surprised how I did that jab where it was like a Superman punch to Josh Taylor, a guy that's undisputed yeah. and everything, and just made it look so easy. I bring so many things. I even brought. A George Foreman combination now because that's everything. Everything is everything. Like I go back in time because that's where my future is at. Mm -hmm. And so, like for as far as like retirement and stuff, honestly, man, it's up to the networks. Teofimo Lopez sends a little shoddy shot. Shakur Stevenson catches a stray randomly. That's what I want to talk about in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. The best in the business, and it's not even close. Subscribe to the channel. I got you covered when it comes to boxing. I got it locked. So, Teofimo Lopez, he was on Sean Porter's podcast, the podcast, The Porter Way, right? And randomly, he was just talking, which is the snippet you heard at the beginning. Throw the likes on the video for more content like this and such. Teofimo randomly sent a shot in the direction of Shakur Stevenson. He says, fighters are getting paid $4 million to put you to sleep, meaning to bore you. And then one of the co-hosts or whatnot was like, oh, we know who he's talking about. And he's like, yeah, I'm talking about Shakur Stevenson. So he put a name on the bullet. Teofimo Lopez put a name on the bullet and told you, in case there are any questions, who he was talking about. And it was Shakur Stevenson. So out of nowhere, you know, the conversation at that point wasn't about Shakur Stevenson. Teofimo just blurted that out. So that's, I guess, internally how he felt. And then he, he sent that stray Shakur's way. Shakur Stevenson took to his social media obviously seeing this and he has something to say about what Tio, you know the remark he made about him being boring two top ranked fighters and it looks like both beefing Shakur Stevenson says these dudes are so shysty be in your face one minute like they your man's an ish but talk crazy about you to the next ninja then in reality they forget they bad nights they lose shaking my head emoji Shakur Stevenson immediately Teofimo Lopez himself he sees this tweet from Sh Shakur Twitterson or whatever people are calling him and he says nah it's different once you size me up at the locker room I was just trying to support you on your night yet you were focused on me but don't stress it me and Jay the pinky I guess he's talking about Jay Prince our good businessmen, happy holidays, champ, at Shakur Stevenson. So a little bit passive aggressive from Teofimo Lopez in his response. So the ego thoughts, what you guys want to know, what do I think about this? First of all, all of these dudes are all beefing, except for Javante Tank Davis. So I got to give a lot of props to Javante Davis, how he's moving. He's really separating himself from the pack because he's not too much getting involved in a lot of these spats and beefs and quarrels online. He's making more money than pretty much all the dudes in this in or around this weight class. And he's steering clear of, of most of these like strays and beef. And they're all mentioning him. Like Shakur's like, oh, the biggest fight for me is tank. Devin said the biggest fight for me is tank. Teofimo 
at the fight with David Benavidez and Andre said, oh, I want to fight Tank or Terrence Crawford. Made a video about it. Check that on the channel so you're fully informed on what's going on in boxing. As far as that, everyone else seems to be like at each other's throats. You have Ryan Garcia, who's in his fight week, Oscar Duarte, and he's beefing with Shakur Stevenson. And Shakur is getting on Twitter, clapping back at Ryan just yesterday. I made videos about all of this. I'm trying to keep you guys caught up with what's going on. So Ryan says Shakur is arrogant. Shakur is basically a prick and he don't like Shakur and he would teach him a lesson, beat his ass and all these types of things. Shakur Stevenson said, I will stand in front of you. I ain't worried about you and we can get it on. Then Shakur Stevenson. And again, I have videos about all of this on the channel. This is why you need to subscribe. Shakur responded back. Make sure you like subscribe. Shakur says, what weight was the question? Somebody asked the question. What weight would you fight Ryan? Shakur Stevenson says catch weight or he can come to my division where I'm a champion, 135 lightweight, so he can finally try to become a champion. LOL, right? For more on those videos, check that on the channel. So all these guys are, are really at each other's throats. Now, literally a day later after Ryan Garcia sent some shots at Shakur, Shakur sent shots back at Ryan. Now there's a whole nother person that's sending shots at Shakur Stevenson. I told you on my channel and I know Eagles Army, y'all rocking with it, but there are some naysayers, some doubters, and they be doubting what I say, but I told you that performance from Shakur with Edwin De Los Santos wasn't his best work and he's been ridiculed ever since like he's catching strays from everybody right like Shakur see this is the danger with how Shakur is moving and his you know his temperament style of fight and things like that and I've told you and I've explained this Shakur is a talented fighter but the way he's talking on Twitter like oh even at the press conference he says Edwin De Los Santos I'm gonna mess you up I'm going to beat you down. You're going to say my name right. And people get hyped up for the output and what the fight was when the fight actually came. So it, it's it's almost you feel duped in a way. You feel like you had blue balls because you're some fans, especially casuals, they're entertained by the WWE. They get entertained by the trash talk and the bravado and theatrics and the histrionics of it all. It's just like wrestling. Oh yeah, Hulk Hogan, you said that you would, yeah, boy. You know, and they get hype for these things. And then when they see the actual fight, it doesn't live up to expectations. Ever since that last fight, people are still like, we had David Benavidez versus Andre, which was a great card. And people are talking about that. But as a fight is not as much to discuss, it was a clear-cut winner, people are still bagging and ragging on Shakur Stevenson over that performance. Teofimo didn't really need to mention, I'm not telling him what to say or what to do, but he really didn't even mention, need to mention Shakur Stevenson, but he felt a type of way and he felt for August he left. And Shakur is calling him basically two-faced for it and saying that, hey, these guys see you and they act one way and then when they're with a different group of people or on a podcast is something different. So Shakur kind of resents that. So clearly there's a backstory. Shakur fought. Teofimo probably came to his locker room, said, what's up, champ, blah, blah, blah. And then goes on this podcast and then he's taking little jabs at him over that performance with De Los Santos. But Teofimo, the way he explains it, he's saying that ultimately Shakur was sizing him up. Like he said, you was focused on me. I was just there to... Like, you know, wish you well on your fight at probably the De Los Santos fight. And then he said Shakur was sizing them up. So the gloves are off. Either way, subscribe to the channel. A lot going on in this division, 35, 40-ish. You got Devin Haney and Regis Progre about the fight. They're doing face-offs, bad-mouthing each other. Regis like, who you knocked out, Devin? Devin saying, you, you have no skills. You got Ryan Garcia, Shakur, Teofimo sending shots at Shakur. And, and that's the bad thing for Shakur as well is there's hit, boxing is a what I keep telling you guys the same thing. Boxing is a what have you done for me lately type of sport. So you're going to be judged and oftentimes judged harshly based on your worst night or your recent outing and your recent performance. That's the case for Shakur. 
But when it comes to Tank, he knocked out Ryan Garcia. So you can't really say anything. Before that, Hector Luis Garcia, he made him retire on the stool and that's a champion in another division so you can't really knock tank davis off of recent performances because they're all looking the same he's decapitating guys devin haney just beat a tough test it was a tough fight close fight with lomachenko a respected guy so you can't really say anything undisputed fought in australia then he fought lomachenko you know regis there's some room to criticize his last performance versus zorilla and then also shakur stevenson there's some reason to criticize his Edwin De Los Santos performance. But as far as Teofimo Lopez, he's had some bad nights, but he's also had really good nights. So Cambosis was his bad night where he lost to an underdog, but he had really good nights beating Lomachenko as an underdog. And then he looked very spicy and very good versus his last former undisputed opponent, Josh Taylor. So Shakur and Regis are the only ones that have had like kind of suspect performances that left more to be desired. I know some people say, oh, but Devin Haney lost to Lomachenko, but that's subjective, right? Most people are unanimous in agreement that Shakur's last effort left more to be desired. And that's why Shakur is kind of making some like excuses as to why it happened, why exactly his fight looked like that, etc. Let me know what you guys think. Shakur, Teofimo. They're going back and forth. A lot going on. Stay tuned for the latest and greatest inboxing. Yiddy in a month.